So today, allow me to an Esau or Esau. Who is Esau? Esau ni nani? Yes. Siku yote tunaweza kuona kifupi alafu tuingie kwa maobez. And the Bible says in the book of Genesis 27 verse 1. Now it came to pass when Isaac was old and his eyes so weka kwa Kiswahili. Now it came to pass when Isaac was old and his eyes were so dim that he could not see that he called Esau his older son and said him my son and he answered him here I am then he said behold now I am old I do not know the days of my day now therefore please take your weapons your quiver and your bow and go out to the field and hunt game for me and make me savory food such as I love and bring it to me that I may eat that I my soul may bless you before I die. Verse 5. Then Lebeka was listening when Isaac spoke to Esau, his son. And Esau went to the field to hunt game and to bring it. So Rebekah spoke to Jacob, her son, saying, Indeed, I heard your father speak to Esau, your brother, saying, So please, Muskia 7, Muzuri, bring me game and make sovereign food for me that I may eat, I may eat it and bless you in the presence of the Lord before my death. Tarudia tena, verse 7. Bring me game and make savory food for me that I may eat it and bless you in the presence of the Lord before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice according to what I command you. So please, make sure munafuata, munaona maneno ya Isaac na maneno ya Rebecca. Na bait, now therefore my son, obey. So this now is Rebecca and our gear. Now my son, therefore my son, obey my voice according to what I command you. Go now to the flock and bring me from there two choice kids of the goats. And I will make Savory food from them for your father, such as he loves. Then you shall take it to your father that he may eat it and that he may bless you before his death. And Jacob said to Lebekah, his mother, Look, Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth skinned man. Perhaps my father will feel me, and I shall seem to be a deceiver to him. And I shall bring a cat on my soul and not a blessing. First 37. To, to look at 20, first 37. Then Isaac. No, first 36. And Esau said, As he not lightly named Jacob, for he had supplanted me these two times, he took away my birthright and now took, he has taken away my blessing. And he said, have you not reserved a blessing? So remember now who you, ni Esau or Esau di anaongea. And he said, have you not reserved a blessing for me? Verse that seven. That Isaac answered and said to Esau, indeed, I have made him your master. So priest also, utaweka na kikuyu, ile chushu waone, hii mustari wa 37 na 40. Then, Isaac answered and said to Esau, indeed I have made him your master, 
and all his brethren have given to him as servants. With the grain and the wine, I have, I have sustained him. What shall I do now for you, my son? And he should say to his father, Have you only one blessing, my father? Bless me, O oh, my father. And he should lifted up his voice and wept. Then Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth. You are dwelling. So, where can I call you? You are dwelling. Pia waone. Ugakro we kunene no togawavi. Mana alisukuma babayake. Akasukuma babayake. Uzuri wa mungu ni ya kwamba hii. Mungu hawezi siaganyikiwa. Watu wa mungu. Uyu mungu wa metuita. Uyu mungu wa metushagua. Uyu mungu wa mekukoboa. Hawezi chaganyikiwa. So, katika maisha ya mwanadamu. Maisha ya mwanadamu. Neno inaweza neno wa. Na nana kuhusu gufu ya neno ilio neno wa o imeneno wa juu ya maisha yako. Mana hiyo neno ilio neno wa inaweza kukuletea baraka o ikulete laana. You succeed through a spoken words, either blessings, O akas. Maisha ya mwanadamu mabo ni mawili. Either neno ilio nenwa. Eh? Upate baraka. O upate laana. Na maliku nasema hivi, Lebeka na akajua. Mana mzee akamuita iso. Kamuambia esau. My days inakaribia kuigia kabulini na nigeomba kama fastborn ninene maneno lakini tukona ya kwamba lebeka akasikia na akajua ya kwamba na ukisoma hapo msali wa sabi ya ya kwamba bring me a game bring me a game and make savory food for me and I may eat it and bless you in the places of God. Maneno yote inao nenwa inje ya uwepo wa mungu. Mana ni mana mbili. Kuna maneno inaeza nenwa dani ya uwepo wa mungu o kwa loho mtakativu wakiwa hiyo maneno inakuwaga baraka. Na Rebecca alijua. Haka muabia uajua baba enu wamesema ya kwamba atambaliki esau Atakula Amnene maneno mazuri Ini God presses Na yue baraka zako Su wakajua Kabla Ya hii alete Akaogia na Yakobu So na ukiona vile Yakobu walipanga Na mama yake Waliogea Mambo ya iso Ije ya uwepo wa mungu Yuko mwana elewa Darudia tena Wakati watu wanakaa shini Wana kusengenya Wanaogea mabo yako Mabo mabaya Inje ya loo mtakatifu Inakuwaga nila O yuko Juu ya maisha yako O jozi Ayoko So wakati wote watu Wanaogea Juhi kama muna elewa, ebu tusome hili muwelewe. Mariku nasema hili, hapo, 40. Hapo, 39. Then Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. By your sword you shall live and you shall serve your brother. It shall come to pass when you become less thirst. You shall break his yoke from your neck. His 
Yo. So, walika, wakapanga, wakaongea. Maneno hao waliongea ikawa nila juu ya isu. So unaona. Rebecca akajua mzuri ya kwamba hii baba anaongea maneno mbele ya uwepo wa Mungu itakuwa baraka. Wakakaa chini wakapanga, wakaongea, wakavaa mavazi ya esau, wakavaa gozi ya kodo kama esau wakajidugia maneno nje ya uwepo wa Mungu ikawa jozi o ikawa nila na ndio mpaka wa leo kama kuna kitu kinatusumbua watu wa Mungu ni watu kukaa chini unafikiria shetani anawatumia wanakupangiwa mabaya ni ibilisi ufalme wa Giza wanaweka ma, ma, maneno mabaya juu ya mwanadamu wanaongea nje la mtakatifu wanaondoka inakuwa nila na ndio unaona ya kwamba baba akamwambia ya kwamba ginya lile okaga kuhuruka nyeo kaota kweheri ya ishoki lia muru wa dhogwo thini wa giko yako ginyo kaga kuhuruka so hii akamwambia kwamba wewe utakuwa bali ukorowe kunene no toga wadi ukorowe kunene na imeria matwini but the same mouth ikamwambia but listen the time you come ida nenegoka wakati utakosa kupumzika uge diko huroka jambo kingine kabio ya kwaba you are sword ule nyuaga no liriaga na luhiu so hebu nikuje sisi ili tuweze kuelewa wakati wote a watu wanao kupangia wanao sema wanao kusengenya wanae kupangia ujue roho mtakatifu hayuko hapo na hiyo maneno wanao nena ukikosa kujipigania ukikosa kutafuta Mungu ukikosa kupigana vita inakuwa nila juu ya maisha yetu kuwa nila ojozi juu ya maisha yetu na ndio ya kwamba Isa akamwambia isu akamwambia kwamba mpaka wakati hutapumzika ndio utatoa nila yake kwa maisha yako na ndio tafaulu tuangalie Isaia Isaia 10:27 ili muone nila ojozi ni kuwekwa inawekwa ile mangobe inakuwaga na jozi ya kulima haijiwekangi wanakaa chini wakasema sasa ukulima umekaribia na tunaona hii dume hizi ndio tutaweka nila itulimie so nila ni kuwekwa inawekwa hii katika physical or the natural world kuwekwa katika ulimwengu wa kiroho nayo mtu huwekewa nila unawezekewa nila ukiwa umelala na nikasema hapa asubuhi msana akaniambia kwamba pasta nataka uniombe kwa nini maana nina nimepokea attack usiku ya nini a a nilikuwa pale kiodo nikienda kwetu nikisimamisha matatu gari ya maiti ikakuja na siku anajua hiyo hiyo zi doto ni kweli aliniambia sitataja jina lake maana maybe yako hapa na akaingia kwa matatu akafikiria ni matatu na akakaa chini vile shetani huigiza mtu nila ikosa kujishunga na kuelewa na akaingia lakini akiingia na sikia ai hii nanuka aje hii haina watu kwani ni mimi peke yangu akaambia dereva simamisha 
Hii ni gari ya maiti kabio eh yes, si ni ya maiti siwezi umeingia Ah simamisha litoke hautatoka So wakati unaokosa kujijua sisi huwekwa nila ni ibilisi maana anatuweka nila katika ulimwengu wa kiroho unaweza wekwa nila unatengenezewa chakula maana inaweza wekwa na tunamuona ya kwamba Esa akatengeneza chakula na akaitana na akajua ule alikuwa amepanga kumua Wayahudi so nila inaweza wekwa wakati watu wanaenda kalama sasa hivi tunaingia December jo jishuke sana my friend Yes, wimenye lele muno. Inaweza tengenezwa shapo maana najua waume wengi hutaka shapo. Yes, oh wana nyama mzuri. So, inaweza tengenezwa ya kwamba maana tunaona ya kwamba walipanga wakatengeneza. Wakajua ya kwamba huyu tutaenda mbele yake. Tunaona ya kwamba wakashakuwa mavazi, pia mavazi. Yes vahi usivae hii vaa hii wengi huigizwa katika uh, agano la mapepo kupitia katika pia mavazi guo tunaovaa wakati wote unanunua guo za christmas make sure you dedicate you pray uobe hiyo nguo maana guo nyingi si za ukweli Guo nyingi imetumika so ni jukumu yako kuita kaza kuziombea wakati wote unaingia nyumba mpya maana unaweza hamia nyumba na ilikuwa na mulevi eh umehamia nyumba haujaiombea hiyo nyumba uta, utakuwa unakaa unasikia kiu ya kitu na hujui ni nini sisi kwanza nasikia kiu Uikosa kujishuga watu wa Mungu. Utajikuta ya kwamba mnaweza ingia boma. Bibi na Bwana walikuwa wamewashana. Haujaitakaza nila. Nataka nila ni kufungwa tunafungwa. Hiyo nyumba walikuwa napigana. Waliwashana. Na we uingia hiyo nyumba. My friend. Vita lazima tupigane. Tusiwekwe nila ni ibilisi na hutumia vitu unless tuwe kwa kiloho tuwe watu wa maombi tuwe watu wa kutafuta Mungu unajikuta ya kwamba tuko na nila kuna levo hatuwezi fika levo juu ya maisha maana watu walinena huyu waje jisaidia huyu daga yataidia huyu daga yakatia hata fauru juu ya maisha yake ni jukumu yako kuhudua katika ulimwengu tuko na vita vyetu za kiroho people of God. So maandiko yanasema ya kwamba Isu akabebeleza baba na akamwambia baba nibariki. Lakini baba akamwambia a a sina baraka sasa baraka zote. Kusukumwa akanena maneno akamwambia hivi na tumeona hapo. Neno aliyonena Behold your dwelling shall be Weka na Kiswahili Weka na Kikuyu hapo tuone Behold your dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above by your sword you shall live and you shall serve your brother and it is a come and it shall come to pass when you become less stressed shida zetu katika hii nyakati ni kupumuzika hiyo ndio shida inayotubeba watu wa Mungu unakuta shinda after shinda maana wengi wetu hukufa moyo wengi wetu ufika pale wanapumuzika lakini baba akamwambia kwamba wakati utakuja even though utakuwa bali na utajiri wa nchi even though umande wa bingu utakuwa bali na wewe 
Lakini akaambiwa hivi wakati hautatupumzika utaikata nila Sina wakati naoishi ni kukuta ya kwamba kwa maombezi kwa kilo remember men ndio maandiko yanasema ya kwamba we are ought to pray always yes Yesu alianza na maombi na alimalizia na maombi Musa alianza na maombi na alimalizia na maombi na uzuri wa Musa mpaka kifo za Musa kikufa alikufia mlimani Hakuna kitu kizuri kama hiyo. Unamaliza na maombi, pia ukikufa ukiela unakufia unalala kwa amani. Na jina ubaga Mungu naomba. Wote wanao mali, a, a, anza na maombi na kumalizia na pia kukufa kwao. Hawakufi lakini hawa watu huitwa nyumbani after the service. They were just called home. Wanalala na amani. Na hiyo ninakuaga ombi langu ya kwamba ni mzuri Mungu nisaidie nijue katika nyakati ili wakati wa kukaribia niitwe nyumbani. Maana tukuta ya kwamba wakati mwingi watu wanapumzika. Watu hawaombi. Watu hawasomi neno. Watu wedi kwa ushirika. Na unakuta ya kwamba utakuta wakati mwingi tunajikuta ya kwamba nila kuliko kwenda kwa ushirika wengi tunaenda basi so hawa vijana ni vijana wawili hawakupigania estate hawakupigania properties hawakulizana ya kwamba ni pesa gapi umepewa hawakulizana ya kwamba haukukuja kwa my birthday hawakulizana ya kwamba ile note tulikuwa tuna, tuna, tunaandika tukiwa shule but we are fighting for our blessing kila dimo wa people of god kuni kwa kitu to like ya blessing of god lazima tujue kulinda our blessings our blessings mungu kutubariki naweza tubariki but to maintain our blessings is the problem maintaining our blessings maintaining our blessings wengi wetu wamebarikiwa kwa hii madhabahu wengi wetu wamepata kazi kwa hii madhabahu lakini wengi paka wakati wa Mungu hawana. Maintain the blessings. Hiyo ndio inakuwa shida ya Wakristo. So, tunaoingia kumalizia mwaka is my prayer. Ile baraka Mungu ametupatia 2023. Ile baraka Mungu ametuahidia 2024. May God give us grace to know how to maintain the blessing. One of the weir ponds of the yok kuvuja yok nila one of the weir ponds is the word of god remember vile baba aliambia kijana akamwambia hivi you shall live by the sword until ukuje ujipiganie utaishi kwa upanga utaishi kwa upanga remember the word of god in the book of hebrews 4 verse 12 the word of god is sharper mm, is living and active the word of god is living iko uhai na liko na gufu sharper than any double sword kio kia gai nero hiyo So make sure always you meditate the word. One of the year upon to break the yoke is meditating the word of God. Mungu akamwambia Joshua meditate my word day and night. Be a meditator of God's word. Be a meditator of God's word to break the yoke in our life. Maneno inaweza nenwa hii tunaomalizia December. Hii watu wengi wanaweza nena maneno. Watu wengi wanajitarisha kwenda gishagi pale wamekaa miaka mingi hawajaenda. So jua ibilisi. Jua jinsi ya kumeditate the word of God. Ukiwa kwa matatu, ukiwa barabarani, ukiwa nyumbani, 
ukienda kishagi please be a meditator of god word uwe mtu wa kutafakari neno la mungu soma neno la mungu i am more than kogala yes mimi ni zaidi ya mshidi sita shidi wa 2024 simama na neno la mungu utaifuja nila ya ibilishi meditate the word of god Number two, to be a true worshiper. Mutu wa kuabudu mugu. The Bible says he is looking. Mugu wa natafuta. Watakai muabudu kwa kweli na loho. What do I mean? Ikisema true worshiper. The book of Acts 16, 25 and 26. The Bible says, Paolo na sila. Even though they were in the midst of trouble. Even though walikuwa wamefungwa na manyololo they worship the lord Madiko yasema ya kwaba walikuwa kwa soko wakiabudu bwana Madiko yasema ya kwaba walikuwa kwa baadhi ya pato wakiabudu bwana Madiko yasema ya kwaba walikuwa kwa ikuru wakiabudu bwana but the true worship ni kuabudu bwana with or without with or without the money in the pocket. So please people of God, as we break for Christmas, learn to worship God. Even if you don't have money for Christmas. Even if you don't have unga, shakura kwa mesa. Worship God. In the midst of trouble, he will deliver. If you worship the Lord in the midst of trouble, he will deliver you in the midst of trouble. Ukiabudu mungu katikati kashinda. Hawa waze vijana wakabudu buwana. Hawa waze vijana pia wakiwa kule selo. Hawa kukosa kweda kesha. Pia kama kwa mana wako na nyololo. Maybe hawa kukosa kwenda ushirika mana. Madiko yesema ya kwa ba. Kwa munda gani walika jela. So kwa ushirika. Walikuwa huko. Walikuwa wanatiana moyo. Or even if tuko jela. Even if you have to do it, that is the true worship. Yes. Through that trouble, learn to worship God. Ujue kwa budu buwana, be a worshiper of God. In the midst of trouble, in the midst of calamity, worship God. When you worship God, He will deliver you. That's tuition. Utapitia is a London to take you to another level. So learn to worship God. Learn to worship God. Be a true worship. Always be a true worship. Ya tatu. Prayer and fasting. Is also a way upon that break the yoke of the devil. Nikasema ya kwanza. Is the word of God. Vile tumesikia koba vile. Aisha kamuabia ya kwamba. Utaishi kwa upanga. Na wakati utashoka. Yes. Hapo di utapata baraka. Di utaweza kuifuja. So ni kasema neno la mungu. Ya pi ni kasema. Be a true worshiper. Ya tatu. Prayer and fasting. The Bible says in the book of. First king. Katika Israel kukawa na jaa kwa muda wa miaka mitatu na nusu. Na ukiangaya utaona ya kwamba kukawa hakuna mvua na kukawa na shida kwa sababu ya nila ilikuwa imewekwa ya miungu ya bari. Lakitu na mwona ya koba through prayer and fasting Something happened Elijah the summit of God He shall rage the false prophets Shall rage them Send the fire from heaven Consume Akaita moto kutoka biguni Kupitia kwa maombi A servant of God 
Tuko katika hali ya maombezi. Be a prayer man or woman of God. Please. Tegeneza diary yako. Make sure kwamba hii mwezi na mwaka tunaomalizia. Make sure wewe unakuwa na wakati wa maombezi. Unaweza shidwa kuvika hapa. Pali pote huko. Be a prayer. Omba kwa roho. Oba kwa roho always. Kigia kwa matatu, omba. Abia mungu, nila zote zinao pangwa, ziharibu jamii yangu. Katika jina yesu kriso wa nadharevi. Mwisho wa mwaka, mungu. Hakuna silaha zita inuka kinyume na maisha yangu. Zita kae faulu. Always, kiwa kwa matatu. Kiwa kwa baiskeri. Ukiwa kwa buda buda. Ukiwa nyubani. Please, be a prayer for man. O woman of God. Always be a prayer for. Mana, wote walio maliza. Wote tunaosoma kwa bibiria. Ni watu wa maombi. Mana, prayer is a weapon that break the yoke of the devil. Yes. Forty days, day and night. Yesu wakakamu limani. Na kamshida ibilishi. So, be prayer for. Another we upon is anointing of God. Is anointing. Isaiah. Isaiah 10. Verse 27. Yes. The Bible says. It shall come to pass. Where can I, where can I swahili? 1027. It shall come to pass in that day that his burden will be taken away from your shoulders and his yoke from your neck. And the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. The anointing of God. Upako hukuja Upeanwa na roho mtakatifu. It will break the yoke. The anointing of God. Samson alifanya mabo mengi sana. Mabo mengi Samson tuliona alifanya tunamusoma kwa bibiria. Igawa baadae alitumia bibaya. It's because of anointing of God. The anointing of God. Upeanwa na roho mtakatifu. Give you the anointing to overcome. To break every yoke. To break every power of darkness. It's my desire. We desire. May the Lord to anoint us. As we go the end of the year. As you usher in 2024. We need the anointing of God. To overcome. To break the yoke of the devil. May God bless his word in Jesus name.